I'm going to be playing Mahjong online this weekend, so I want to practice with Charleston modeling. This is a great way to get to know the card better. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Let's do some Charleston modeling. So I have all my tiles out. They've been mixed. I'm going to go ahead and get 14 tiles. We'll just say we're the dealer for these exercises. And now I'm going to create a mock Charleston. This is just for practice. It's not meant to be exactly like it would be in a live game. Okay, there they are. So let's see what we can do with this hand. Oh, there are jokers in here. Okay, we've almost got news. We've almost got news. I'm thinking maybe we could play the news pair hand. News, four, five, six. We could hold this for joker bait. I think, let's see, north and south goes with red dragon. And we have a pair of north, but no flowers. I was thinking maybe we could do north and south with dragons, but no flowers. That would be the first wind and dragon hand. Let's go ahead and pass these three. Oh, now we have a three of a kind here. So here's a two. We could do two, three, four. And there's a white dragon now. Maybe we could do a year hand. But that would require throwing away a pung. We could potentially do a two, four, six, eight hand. Let's look at two, four, six, eight real quick. All one suit. There is a two, four, six, eight with the matching dragon. Two, four, six, eight. I think we're closest to a two, four, six, eight hand. There are no two, four, six, eight hands with news. If we held the winds, let's give up the north so we can break up the pair of ones and focus on two, four, six, eight. Okay. No keepers. There's a west and a red. Let's pass these three. Oh, we got eights and a two. Let's give up the wins. So I'm thinking two, four, six, eight. There's even a two, four, six, eight with pairs of eights. The second one under two, four, six, eight. That one requires only a pair of fours. We really don't need this two. And this way, maybe we can break up the winds a little bit. Oh my goodness, a pair of fives. We'll break that up. Let's actually break that up and pass a west. North and south goes with odds. East and west go with even. So if you're going to pass a wind, try to pass it with west with odds and north and south with evens if you can. Oh, look at that. Six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. There is uh, two, four, six, eight mixed suits. That would require, this would be the third hand down, and it requires opposite dragons. We gave up the red dragons, so that wouldn't be helpful. So we could pass those two. I'm thinking, let's see here. Two, four, six, eight. There is a pair hand. Two, four, six, eight. Pairs of two, four, six, eight with flowers and then pairs of the same number.
I think we can give up the six. There are three hands we could play with mixed suits and these eights. Let's give this up. I don't think there's anything in here, but we can just go through the motions there. Yeah, discards. Three discards, but we do have options here. I'm thinking we're probably gonna have to give up this eight bam. I would say we're probably closest to either the 2468 Concealed Hand with Dragons, last one under 2468, or the 2468 Pair Hand. We have a gap though of no flowers. If we get a flower, we could discard the four dot and then pair up. So we're kind of in between those hands. That's how I would play this one. If you would do it differently, write it in the comment section. Okay, let's do another one. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh my goodness, look, no jokers again. Okay, just because you have no jokers doesn't mean you can't win. You can win without jokers. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, our multiples are ones and eights. One place you can do mixed suit with ones and eights is a year hand. We have no white dragons though. But I think I would go ahead and keep the ones. These may not come into play there. I would keep the eight. I'm thinking a year hand of some kind. The year hand, as an option, we might be able to do something consecutive here and use these as joker bait. Let's go ahead and pass these three. We have no flowers, so I don't think a, an addition hand is going to be good. We would need eight and four. We have no fours. Well, there's one there. Maybe we could keep that. Let's do that. Let's pass these three. Even though we have no flowers, I mean, that's a long shot. Let's just see what happens. Okay, so now we have an eight. That works for a year hand, maybe. Okay, so here we have north five six i think i would break that up so something consecutive with bams then we have something with the year hand somewhere year category stay at the category level if you can for as long as you can okay here we go oh white dragon that'll help for a year hand okay now there is a news opportunity with the year, but we would have to break up a two pair and we have no eight crack. Let's see. We have no flowers, so there's a gap there. I think we can give up on the, con the uh, consecutive hand here. Let's go ahead and stick with the year. So we have six, eight, four, six, eight. We can pass these three. Okay, there's a one, one, eight. Oh, we got an eight, one, eight. We've got fives. Okay, now it's decision time. I think we could give up the North and the West. I think clearly we're in a year opportunity here. We could always switch to something with like numbers too. Let's pass these three. I try not to pass two wins together, but we're kind of in a predicament here. I think passing two wins together is better than passing like numbers. Oh boy, look at that. I hope nobody would ever pass a pair. We're gonna keep that. So here we have two 2018 category. We have two discards. Now we pick a hand. So I'm thinking there is the first hand. We have 
a pung of twos in one suit with white dragons. Then we have ones in a, sec in a second suit and eights in a third suit. So I think we could go ahead and keep these because we kind of have opposites here. But I think that's probably the strongest potential. If we could get flowers, there are a couple other opportunities there too. Let's give up the eight crack. If we had the other dragons and a flower, maybe we could play the big year hand under singles in Paris, but we've got gaps. Let's pass these three. If you get a joker, just exchange it. Oh, look at that. One eight. And then we've got an eight and a green. Okay, so we're kind of in between white dragons one bam we need eight dots joker bait or we could play like numbers like numbers with ones or eights yeah the eights are not very strong i'm thinking probably i would let's see here We could do one eight, because we've got dots, bams, cracks. You've got to have three suits represented for that first hand. Let's give up the eight. Let's just pass two. That way we have good joker bait. Okay, so we have discards and joker bait. And we've got some flexibility here. We could go with these three, or we could go for these three and use these as joker bait. So there's some flexibility there. If you would have done anything differently with those tiles, let me know in the comment section. Let's do this one more time. Here we go oh look at we got jokers finally that just gives you a little extra flexibility I think okay look at all those cracks I think it'd be really nice to use all those cracks so we have one three four maybe we could play a quint Let's see, there are no consecutive hands that use news. There are no odds that use news. I think we can give up the wins. Let's pass these three. And let's focus on cracks, maybe even a quint. Okay, we got cracks. We've got two tiles we can pass. I'm not going to pass a flower and I really don't want to pass a white dragon. If we have the ones here, I think that is the strength of the hand right there, the multiple. Here's a four. I'm thinking we should go for the quint, the consecutive quint, either the third one down or the fourth one. So that frees up these tiles here. Either one, if we pass the six with the nine for three, six, nine, there's risk. If we pass the seven with the six, there's risk with a um, consecutive, so either way it's going to be a little risky. So let's see what we get. Well, we can't keep that. Can't keep that. Okay, a one. One, eight. Those, neither of those are helpful. Let's break that up a little. Pass those three. Okay, we got an eight and a three. Since we're doing consecutive, let's keep the three. I like to keep numbers in a range of four around the multiples. So this might be helpful. However, we're left with like numbers. I'm gonna give it up. I like to pass defensively. 
while setting up my hand. Oh, now we have a multiple in the dragons and we have eights flower south. Okay. So now we have to make a decision. I'm thinking one, let's see, two, four, eight, two, four, eight. What can we do here? There is a two, four, six, eight hand with the opposite two, four, six, eight with opposite dragon. Let's just look at that really quick. That's the third hand down. So it would require using these as the sixes. So we have two crack, four crack in pairs, then a pung of sixes, pung of eights, kong of dragons, three suits represented. So we would be able to give these up. Two, four, six, eight. So that would require giving up the quint idea and we're on an obligatory pass. Let's just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven versus one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's just give up the quint. Okay, we have no keepers there. We're looking for six bams, really. Let's pass, oh, let's see here. Let's pass these three. I hate letting that quint go, but this is a stronger possibility, I think. Okay, so here we have two, four, eight. We did get an eight that could be useful. So I'd say we have really five discards and I would probably say we're closest to that two, four, six, eight hand with dragons, third one down. I think this is a great way to get to know the card. I'm still kind of at the practice stage. I haven't even gotten to play live yet. So this has been really great practice. If you have a set at home, give it a try yourself. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe. Click the bell when you do so that you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss any opportunities to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight of the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston modeling for American style, may all your picks be keepers.